Introducing Big J's Toilet Paper, the logger's choice. When you need that extra scrubbing power, Big J's Toilet Paper leaves you feeling fresh. Big Bad John. Hey guys, Logger John here. And I just arrived up in the woods here. It's a Saturday morning. And it's going to be a beautiful day. Um, I was running a bit late this morning. I had to go to the dump first. It doesn't open until 8. And it was pretty heavy fog coming up. Uh, it's not foggy right here. But uh, coming up through the town of Westport and down through, it was really, really foggy. So I uh, took my time. And uh, up here for another day of cutting wood. It's about 8.30 actually. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, clear up some of the small brush around here. And make a road up in here. And there's some nice maples right here I'm going to cut. And farther down. So I'm going to get at it here. I got my trailer and my truck ready. And uh, once I get some wood cut, I'm going, to, I'm going to have to back up in here to get it. Okay guys, uh, just finished uh, brushing up the trail up there. I uh, have to cut off a, that one stump right there. And then I'm going to start by cutting that tree maybe. And there's some nice maples all along, down along the trail there. Uh, I was using my Shadawa 305S for uh, brushing. Good little saw, it's only about 30cc. Nice and light. Time for the wedge. Okay, first tree had to wedge it over. The it's kind of funny the trunk, uh, the trunk of the tree was kind of leaning, tipped that way, but the top was going back in there, which was okay. If it went down there, it was fine. I just had to clean up the brush, and you all know how much I like cleaning up brush. So we put it up in here, no brush, and it's on the ground. Um, a lot of times it's funny, like sometimes you, uh, the trunk will determine which way it's falling, or sometimes it's the top. It's kind of a crapshoot. I was kind of banking on the trunk, uh, going which way it wanted to fall, but it was the top actually because it started to settle down on the saw. I don't know if you could see it, but it started to go back there. Okay guys, I uh, cut the stump off. 
so I can back in here easier. I think the next one I'm going to tackle is this maple here. Uh, we got one, this one here is uh, leaning right there, I think I can put it. Uh, this other one, the bottom's pretty rotten on it, as you can see. So you got to be careful with that, but uh, unfortunately it's leaning up in there, which isn't the end of the world. I'll just cut that little ironwood maybe, just to make it safer. You got to watch some of these ironwoods, if you don't cut them and the tree falls on them, they uh, can get dangerous, can knock your teeth out when you go to cut up the tree, if they spring back. And uh, we have an old dead snag here. It's pretty much rotten. Okay guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, went down there perfect. Um, as you can see there's not much left of the stump. This whole part here was rotten. The only good wood was here and over here a bit. So you had to be careful. Okay guys, I'm going to cut that up and then I'm going to cut this bigger one here. I might leave this little guy. Hey guys, so we got that cut up. And I'm going to tackle this one here. I'm hoping that uh, there's an ironwood right there. I'm hoping it kind of rolls off that ironwood and lands up in there in the brush. That's my plan. Also notice there's a little ash right here that looks like it's half dead. I'm going to cut it anyway. It's not very big, but... Okay guys, she's on the ground and it's kind of hung up there a little wee bit in some of that smaller trees up there, uh, which is no problem. We can cut this up pretty easy. It kind of rolled off that uh, iron wood, like I said it would, but kind of bent the iron wood over. I have to be careful with that. But you can see the top up there, it's kind of hung up in some small iron wood, but it's uh, pretty much on the ground. Okay. okay guys, got that one cut up as you can see up in there. I've looked out so far I hadn't had to pick up any brush. The road's here, the brush is up there. I'm out of gas so I gotta go get some. Um, I'm gonna pick this wood up, throw it out here, just make it easier to get at. Okay guys, I got my saw all gassed up here ready to go back but uh how to get a drink of water and a snack now today <coughs> excuse me i brought what i call a junk food loggers lunch it's pretty much all junk food well i did bring a <coughs> excuse me i got a tickle in my throat um i did bring a sandwich i got some cookies i i did i covered all the uh most important food groups. I got some chips, sun chips. All they had was harvest cheddar. I prefer uh, sour cream, but these are good too. So that's in the uh, grain uh, food group. And then I have uh, Reese's Big Cup, uh, king size, two Reese's pieces. So I don't know what food group that's in. And I have a Mars bar. And I got something from, uh, I even covered some of the provinces here. I got something from Quebec, a Joe Louis. Actually, I don't know if they're made in Quebec or not, but a Joe Louis, a uh, Super Joe Louis. The Super Joe Louis. Uh, I don't have my glasses, so I don't know if it's, anyways, 
that covers the province of Quebec. Uh, the sun harvest would be the western prairies, the grain, uh, the I don't know what this province, uh, these big cup maybe, uh, Newfoundland, I don't know. And then some uh, oatmeal cookies from a local bakery. And my sandwich, I got some uh, uh, turkey on the sandwich, I think. And the Mars bar, of course, and water. I'm not a big pop drinker, so I mostly drink water. Anyways, that is my lunch. Okay guys, I'm looking at these two maples. This guy here is uh, kind of leaning over here. I might be able, if I cut that little kind of dead ironwood right here, there's a birch there, I might be able to put it right in between there. Maybe, or maybe not. There's a lot of limbs up there. I don't want it to get hung up, or I might be able to put it across here, across the road here, with a wedge. And then we have this other bigger one, and uh, I'm going to step back here and have a look at it. It's kind of leaning over in there. Uh, I'd rather not have it go over there. I think with some wedge work, I might be able to put it over in there if I cut that one ironwood down. <laughs> okay guys, well, we didn't need the wedge for that one. I just uh, kind of tickled there with the saw a little bit just to get it going. It wanted to go. I just got to cut the stump off. Get a block out of the stump. And then uh, not too much brush. There's a little bit of brush in the road right there. But Hey guys, just checking out this. So the road that I come in... The uh, road up to the lake is down over there. You can kind of see it. Uh, it comes up the hill here and onto the lake. Just looking at some of these birch up here. Look at this thing. The whole bottom's pretty much rotten. The rest of the tree looks okay. It's alive. But uh, okay, I'm looking at this maple. Unfortunately, it's got a little maple here. And it's kind of leaning. I'm hoping to try to put it over there with a wedge, maybe. Right in there. I just got to cut that one ironwood. Okay. Ah!
Woo! Okay guys, well, she went where I wanted it to, but I kind of had my doubts there for a few minutes. It was kind of settling over on the stump, kind of this way. But patience, I guess. Uh, probably should have had the wedges. This wedge, I should have had it more over here maybe, and this one that way, but it wasn't too much holding it as you can see a little bit here. Okay. Well, she's on the ground. The stump's not too pretty, but...